Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss banker's discount and bill of exchange. Suppose a dealer X buys goods from another dealer Y. A payment is made by what is called a bill of exchange, which is a document drawn up by Y. Therefore, bill of exchange can be defined as a written document or undertaking by a debitor to a creditor. for paying a certain sum of money on a specified future date A bill contains first drawer. Drawer is the person who writes or prepares the bill. Second we have drawee. A drawee is the person who pays the bill. Third is payee. A payee is the person whom the payment is to be made. And fourth is the holder of the bill. That is the person who is in possession of the bill. So, it is the legal promise on the part of joy to pay the agreed sum at the stated date The date on which the bill is drawn or prepared is called date of drawing. And the date on which the bill is accepted That is, the bill is signed and accepted by the joy is called the date of acceptance of the bill and the date on which the bill is due. is called the due date or the date of maturity.
ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस डेट दे आर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ बिल्स ऑफ एक्सचेंज वन इज बिल ऑफ एक्सचेंज आफ्टर डेट इन विच द डेट ऑफ मेच्योरिटी इज कैलक्युलेटेड From the date of drawing the bill, second is bill of exchange after sight. in which the date of maturity is calculated from the date of accepting the bill a bill of exchange does not mature legally till 3 days after the stated date and these 3 days are called days of grace let us now discuss discounting of the bill and bankers discount suppose that buy requires the money before the date on which it is due a bill of exchange may be in cash from a bank or a broker this and cashing a bill of exchange before its due date is called the discounting of the bill the bank will not pay the holder the full amount of the bill but the debt some amount from the bill and pays the balance amount to the holder of the bill
the amount deducted by the bank is called banker's discount In actual practice, the bill broker calculates the simple interest on the nominal value of the bill for the time which will elapse before the payment is due and deducts this from the nominal value of the bill he will also add 3 days of grace to the length of time while calculating the interest Let us take an example. Find how much a bank gives of five hundred dollars drawn on fourth May for three months, which he discounts on July eighth at four percent per annum. Now, since three days of grace is allowed, the bill matures on August seven. and it is given that it is discounted on 8 july therefore there are 30 days before the payment will be made so interest on 500 dollars for 30 days at 4% per annum will be equal to 500 into 4 by 100 into 30 upon 365 30 days will be converted into years by dividing it by 365 therefore we get $120 by 73 which is equal to $1.64 dollars therefore the bill broker gives Five hundred dollars minus one point six four dollars, which is equal to four hundred and ninety eight point three six dollars. Hence, 
the discounted value of the bill is Four hundred and ninety-eight point three six dollars, and the sum of one point six four dollars is deducted by the bill broker is called banker's discount or commercial discount. and the difference between banker's discount and true discount is called banker's gain This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.